My first job out of college in 1989, I uh, had the fortunate or unfortunate pleasure of working with uh, Dean Darling. And uh, he's the, actually the one who brought me in as his statistician. Now back then, it's going way back, um, there weren't computers, so we had to actually do all the stats by hand. Uh, so I was the statistician the first year. It was my introduction to uh, Army football and, uh, and, and Bob Outer, who was the voice of Army football for a long, long time, um, ran the network. Uh, he was my introduction. He brought me in and uh, the rest is, is history. I've been with uh, Army athletics and Army football for the better part of the last 25 years. I would say, you know, we put in uh, collectively, I don't know how many hours, but we're constantly in communication about things coming up in terms of the game every single day, whether it's via email or phone. We're talking about potential storylines for Saturday, maybe news items that come up for both Army and the opponent. And uh, personally, I'll spend you know, several nights during uh, the week at home just getting prepped and just making sure that there's nothing that uh, is going to come up on Saturday that I won't have something on. But it's, uh, it takes a lot of time, but it's more, more than worth it. My favorite part about Army Game Day certainly are the home games. Um, to this day, at the beginning of the game, right before the coin toss, when the, when, when the march on, the parachuters, to me, to this day, you know, the hair on the back of my neck rises and certainly you look up in the air and you see these guys coming in. It's just a, it's a special day at Mikey Stadium every Saturday. One of my favorite stories of, of Army football in general was that period of time from about, I think it was 92 to 96, where Army won the Army-Navy game in the last minute. Either it was a defensive stand, a couple field goals, or uh, taking the ball down and scoring late in the ball game. By far, that's my greatest memory of uh, Army football.